Welcome to the Motor India Show. My name is Roy P. Tharian. We are here with the Maruti Suzuki XL6. Well, this is not a brand new, brand new car of sorts, but it is an avatar of the Ertiga. Yes, it is a refurbished, redone Ertiga on the same platform. A lot of cosmetic changes have happened in this car. And it's heavily changed on the cosmetic front. Yes, the front looks have changed, the side profile has changed, the back has changed, the wheels have changed. Well, they're all cosmetic and inside too, it's become a lot more plusher. We're going to check it out. But before I give you details about these changes, I'm going to walk you around this car and let you know what I personally feel about the looks and the styling. Let's go. Technically speaking, compared to the Ertiga, this XL6 has got a wee bit more length, width and height. The wheelbase remains the same and the turning radius remains the same. So let me talk about the front. If you notice, the hood is a little higher. It's been redesigned. The entire grill area, the lights, everything has changed. And I must confess, it looks a little butch. Yes, it's got the styling of an SUV. Now let me take you to the side. Now if you see the side profile to the designing on the doors, the claddings, the wheel arches, well and of course not to miss is the roof rail, you know, they look nice and neat. You've got a new set of alloy wheels but what sticks out as a very ugly sore is the wheel. Yes, the wheel should have been a little bigger in size. For a vehicle that has just beefed itself up, the wheels look a little smaller. The rear too has been redesigned and you notice it looks a little more uh, SUV kind with skid plates and a few other changes. But again, on the whole, it looks a little narrow. So if you were to ask me which side looks the best, I would say I would go for the front side of the XL6, then the side profile and finally the back. This premium MPV built on the Ertiga platform is being offered in Zeta and Alpha trim lines for both the manual transmission as well as the automatic transmission models. The Alpha is the superior trim level, though I must say that both the trim levels have more or less similar features. A few features that Zeta has missing are auto headlamps with follow me home and lead me to vehicle feature, reverse parking camera, sun visor, vanity mirror illumination and leather like seats and leather wrapped steering wheel. The XL6 has signature quad LED headlamps and tail lamps with LED light guide. Then there are LED front fog lamps, LED high mount stop lamp. It has stylish all black alloy wheels. The tire size is 185 by 65. R15. The XL6 has front and rear skid plate with side claddings, back door, chrome garnish, chrome plated door handles and glossy black electrically adjustable ORVMs with integrated signal lamp. The vehicle would have looked even better with a shark fin antenna rather than the conventional one. The seats are very comfortable and the cabin space is more than adequate to seat six adults comfortably. All the seats have adjustable headrests. With an on-road price tag of more than rupees 10 lakh for the XL6, there should have been electrically adjustable seat for the driver at least or for the front two occupants. The driver's seat is however height adjustable. For the front row there is a sliding armrest with a utility box, though it's a tiny one. The vehicle has power steering and the steering wheel can be adjusted for tilt but not for reach. Buttons mounted on the steering wheel help you with your cruise control, volume control, voice command etc. Apart from the sculpting of the vehicle from outside, where Maruti Suzuki probably has spent a lot of money is the inside. The inside is really plush. You have these seats which are, I'm not very sure whether these are leather but they do resemble leather maybe for. 
and the stitchings are perfect it's all black the finish here is very artistic and very uber and of course there's a seven inch screen we'll describe all this in detail but what i like about this uh driver position is is the steering wheel it's got of course the controls and most important it's got a flat bottom very much like a sporty steering so that's good and everything is black on or bordering on black and a little bit of diffuse chrome so it gives a very rich feeling now as for the seats they are very very comfortable especially in front i'm going to check out what it's like sitting at the back this is a six seater so remember in a six seater let us see whether all the six people can sit comfortably assuming they are adults come along i'm in the second row now these are now captain seats two individual seats here and i'm not disturbed the setting of the driver so i was sitting there and that's the position of driving so when i'm sitting at the back i realize there is a lot of knee room there is a lot of shoulder room of course and gap between the two people so it's quite comfortable and plush and of course there are a whole set of blowers here and the speeds to be adjusted here so i would give this 9 out of 10 for the space for an adult and remember i'm close to 5 10 i'm a little bulky so a person of my height and my bulk will be sitting very comfortably now i'm going to get to the uh, third uh, row and let me see how easy it is to get in for a bulky guy like me all i do is manually pull up this little lever push it in front there's a little flap here i pull that tug at it and there there's a lot of space wow this is convenient now i am in the third row and let me tell you how i feel here because this seat is in the original position where i left it another good point about the seat is of course it can be pushed back so it you need not sit very uh stiff like that there is this lever here you depress it so my seating position can change uh, for long drives you don't have to slouch you you can sit comfortably and enjoy your drive for tall people i guess this place is decent enough because the headroom is there um, not only for the third row for just also for the second and first row so there's no problem the, on the, on the on the headroom uh the knee room area is also pretty okay The best part about the seat is when you're sitting in the back the moment you bring it down uh you can also slide it up and down so it doesn't get locked okay the moment you lift it up remember the seats get locked now i can't do anything but the moment i put this flap up this bends down and then you can move it up and down so it's very convenient for the uh third row guy to get out and get in the roof mounted air vents for air conditioner are built in such a way that the air intake vents up behind the blowers one can see them from the front row seat area this technically signifies that the ac is more effective for the second row as well as for the third row for the third row passengers the fixed window is quite large and that in turn gets rid of any claustrophobic feeling there is ample utility space within such as air cooled twin cup holders sunglass holder in the overhead console that has a map lamp too bottle holders in each row accessory sockets in each row and split type luggage board The vehicle comes with a slim wide instrument panel. The customizable 7 inches Smart Play Studio touchscreen enhances the driving experience with Smart Play Studio application. The system is completely integrated with the car, displaying key vehicle information such as low fuel alert, fuel economy, etc. The MID comes with color TFT and the manual transmission version of the vehicle has a gear shift indicator. The XL6 premium MPV comes with only a petrol engine that will have an option of a manual and automatic transmission. 
the BS6 petrol engine is the K15B Smart Hybrid 1462cc powering the Ertiga and delivers a fuel efficiency of 19 km per litre for the 5-speed manual transmission and 17.99 km per litre for the 4-speed automatic transmission. The K15 engine offers peak power of 103.25 HP at around 6000 RPM and a maximum torque of 138 Nm at around 4400 RPM. The vehicle has ventilated discs in front and drums at the rear. All these specs are similar to the Ertiga. Because of its hybrid feature, the MPV has idle start-stop and moreover, there is always a back and forth shift between the lithium batteries and the IC engine. The torque assist is quite evident during acceleration. Despite the vehicle dimensions now a tad more than the Ertiga, the ride and handling remains good, the NVH levels under control and the performance of the engine very delightful. While the manual is fun to drive, the Automatic 2 is also very impressive with its acceleration and speed. The automatic version has modes like D for drive as well as 2 and L. L of course is used during slow moving traffic. It's like a crawl feature as the gear is adjusted to its lowest level. It is also ideal for steep climbs. The 2 gets you into the second gear where speeds are a bit faster but the engine rev is restricted. This mode is best suited when coming down a hilly road or even climbing up. Safety features are plenty in this car as it is based on Suzuki's 5th generation hardtech platform. The all new XL6 is compliant with all Indian safety regulations like frontal, offset, impact, side impact and pedestrian protection. It is equipped with a host of safety features such as dual front airbags, anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, front seat belts with pretensioners and force limiters, isofix child seat anchorages, high speed warning alert, reverse parking sensors as a standard fitment across all variants. Electronic stability program and hill hold function is offered as a standard feature in automatic variants only. All in all, I enjoyed driving the XL6 which definitely is all about plush and sophistication. Though a few more features could have made it a very perfect premium MPV.